What's going on everyone? This is Star. Welcome to the channel. Today's topic, we're talking about Lori Harvey once again. Because one thing that I notice is that black men really don't care for Lori Harvey. Because she was raised by two parents and was taught not to settle. The funny thing is, if Lori Harvey knocked on any of these men's doors, they would gladly accept. You know, the black men are always screaming that Lori is a 304. Okay, she's a 304, but she don't got no baby daddies, though. She not pregnant, though. She could have easily got pregnant by all these men and collected a check. Instead, she started her own skincare line, collaborated with Michael Kors, and like tripled her net worth. You can't be mad at that. Y'all love independent women, right? So give her a round of applause. Let me do it for you. You see, this is what happens when you got mommy and daddy in your corner and they giving you the game on how to strategically move in these Hollywood streets. It's important to have a father in your ear telling you, hey, you don't have to settle. You can go higher. What's funny is some of these men that are talking about Lori Harvey, they have daughters that are Lori's age and their daughters are having babies by random men who don't have any money to take care of their children. And they're left to pick up the pieces. And to those men specifically, go help your daughter out. Go talk to her. Go tell your daughters that having babies out of wedlock isn't the way to go. You know, Steve Harvey, he made a statement about the breakup and he said he's Team Lori, and he should be on his daughter's side. That's his daughter. And I know some people are going to say, oh, that's not her real dad. Yes, it is if he took care of her and raised her. Yeah, that's his daughter. If he poured into her resources, his time, that's his daughter. Steve Harvey didn't put Michael B. Jordan down. He says he still thinks he's a cool dude. But he glad his daughter got out of the situation. And he appreciates the fact that there was no breaking of windows. There was no domestic violence. And that was out of his mouth. Now let's be honest about the black men. They don't like what Lori is doing at all. They don't like it. And they don't want her inspiring other black women to get in shape to exercise their options, to leave a relationship when they want something different, something better, something more fruitful, because then black men would have to compete to be with a woman, not just with black men, but with other races of men. And they definitely don't want to do that. As I stated in a previous video, Black men do not want to see black women living a luxurious lifestyle. They hate seeing that. They don't think black women are worth that. That's why when they get their money, they run to other communities. You even got black men on the internet stating that they rather their daughter date future than Russell Wilson. And that's because they don't think their daughters are worth it. And it's pretty sad. At the end of the day, Lori's going to get that billionaire businessman. I mean, why else would she leave Michael B. Jordan? To go down a notch? No, she wants to go up. That's why she putting in all that work at the Pilates studio and losing close to 20 pounds. She's trying to attract a certain individual. Lori is like her mother. In her mind, it's nothing she can't have. And she's going to go after exactly what she wants. And that's that. 
I'm Star. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. I will talk to you guys next time. You guys take care. Have a great evening. Good night.